Hello BGD Addicts, it is Chocolate Thunder here back for video prompt 39, which is about face up tips. Um, unfortunately I'm not going to be showing a face up today, it's kind of tricky using this camera. But I thought I may as well share some pearls of wisdom as it were, um, with you fellow YouTubers. Um, I've been doing face ups for at least two, three years now. <coughs> I'm still not amazing by any stretch of the imagination, um, but things that I've kind of learned over the time has definitely been to um, I'll start with eyes because eyes are one of the things that I find most commonly people ask about. Um, I recommend that you use a white pencil or acrylic paint on the lower lash line because I think it makes the eyes pop a lot more and it really brings a lot more light to the eyes if you're taking photos. In addition, put black on the top before you add your um, eyelashes and it gives, even if you don't want to do like eyelashes actually on the resin itself, you know with a brush or something, it does make the eyelashes and the whole eye just pop a little bit more. Um, my girl here has this, I can't really show you very well because it's kind of difficult because she's got her eyes in and stuff. But um, with most of the face ups I've seen, that's what they've been doing. Um, what else? I don't do top eyelashes. Um, I, 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 I've just, I stopped doing it because it just looks strange um, if you didn't get with enough brush. There's too many variables which would just completely mess up the face up. However, if you use a, a watercolour pencil, I find it's that's best for doing the bottom lashes. Um, instead of using acrylic paints, um, or if you want to use acrylic paints, do it with um, watercolour pencil before you use acrylic, because then you know that your line's going to be right. Um, what else? With lips, I find it's best to use a darker uh, pigment on the inner bit of the lip, so that bit there, to use a darker pigment, whether it's red or if it's pink or whatever colour you choose, and then blend it out over the rest of the lip. I find it makes a much more natural looking lip um, than just blobbing it on anywhere. And always use, afterwards, after you've sealed that layer, use a white or a pink top pencil to just add in some little lines and then use a gloss on top of that. Um, for blushing, the way I kind of do blushing and I'll con I, I think about it as contouring, I don't think of it as blushing. Um, it's more a case of you're wanting to highlight the face. So if you imagine that when you're taking a photo, if you just took a picture of your face without any, like with just a full frontal light, where would you want the highlights? if you were to draw them on, where would you want the highlights to be? So bridge of the nose, uh, tops of the cheeks, bottom of the chin, and the cupid's bow, and the top bit of your eyebrows are usually the sort of places that you put maybe a lighter pigment. In addition, wherever you want darker areas, you'd put maybe not a brown, but I usually use a peach. So I usually do it in inside bits here, temples, lower bits of the cheeks, and usually a little bit under the nose and sometimes a little bit here depending how much I want to accent the lips because if they're usually wearing like a red lipstick I usually don't um, and then just a little bit of blush just on the apples where you'd say the apples and the cheeks were um, eyebrows I'm still learning but I can give a kind of tip um, the best way I find to do eyebrows is to sort of if you have your, put your eye in uh, for a start so you can see what sort of expression you're going to be giving your doll um, and then lightly put on with a um, what's called pencil where you think the lines should be and match them up and then after that go over it with your uh, pastels and fill in the line and then take a q-tip and just trace the line away so you can have it as thin or as thick as you want depending what you want your doll to look like. Um, I try and avoid fully marking out like the creases of the eye, I think it sometimes looks a bit strange. Unless you're doing it with like, say, 
a white. I usually do it with white if I if my, I want my BGDs to have like kind of white eyeshadow on the tops of their eyes. I find that looks okay, but if you use black, it's a bit heavy. And um, so if you're wanting to do that, I would go for maybe a dark brown if you want to highlight it. It's not really something I usually do. Um, and another thing I could give a tip about is freckles. Use watercolor pencils because they're amazing. And they're really good for kind of blending it out and then you can sort of build up the freckle layers as you go along. So you can have ones that are slightly lighter, some that are darker, and it looks really, really cute. Anyway, I think that's me chatted enough because I'm about to do a marathon of PhD Addicts Prompt. So I hope you all have a great day and I hope this helps you. And um, I'll chat to you guys really soon. Bye!